Hey, what's up? It's Tony with Bearded Daddy here, and I am on my way to do my first Amazon Flex delivery. I don't know how it's going to go. I've never done it before, and the one person I know who did it last year was not very happy with it, so I may not be doing too many of these but I figured I'd give it a shot. I hear you can finish like four hour blocks in like an hour or two, but then I've heard where you can end up spending five or six or seven or even eight hours on a two or three hour block and can end up being a, a loss of dollars per hour. So I'm gonna document this journey with Amazon Flex kind of step-by-step as much as I can so that everybody can see how to do it and if they want to do it. Um, don't really know what I'm going into right now, but I'm just driving to the address they gave me for the facility, which is only about 15 minutes from my house. And... Uh, We'll go from there, and once I get there and I guess check everything in, I will get back on here and let you know how that went. Alright, so I just got here, and it says I can't check in yet. I'm about a half hour early at says I can only check in 15 minutes early so I guess I'll just wait for another 10 minutes to check in and uh, see what we got to do next there's a long line of people here so I'm not sure if I should just get in line or what I guess if this ends up being something I'm gonna do I will figure it out and see what I can do to cut down on my start time all right We'll check in after I get the packages. All right, so I'm on my way. I got GPS going on my phone and on this other device I got using for doing these videos. And so far it's about the same route, but I just wanted to say my first pickup experience was kind of weird. Uh, wasn't anything like what the videos described when I got approved to drive for Amazon Flex, but um, wasn't too bad. Once I started to figure out, I had to go ask the lady how to do everything a little bit about like how I know what is first and second. Then they have stickers on here that allegedly are your stops. Hopefully they're right, because that's how I get everything sorted. It took me probably 15 minutes longer than it should have, so I'll chalk that up to just being new, and maybe I'll try another route again so that we can uh, get a better idea of if this is gonna be worth it or not. I guess it's $72, four hours, and hopefully I can get this thing done maybe in an hour or two at most. All right, I'll check in with you from time to time here. All right, so I just got finished. It took me three and a half hours. Probably would have taken me three if, it, if I didn't take so long to sort out the packages, but I guess we'll try it again and see if it's worth it. For me, since I'm making around $25 to $29 an hour on Uber and Lyft and I get tips, I might just do this on like slow times. If it's not during a slow time, I won't do it, but hey, it's $72. Bucks. Uh, so far today, I've made $172 between Rideshare and Amazon. Alright, well, hopefully this is helpful. I'll uh, do a review where 
I go through step by step to kind of help you out in making it easier for you to start your first time ever doing Amazon Flex. All right, have a good one.